now you have a basic website set up, uh, we're going to add some colors uh, and some style to it. And we're going to use a style sheet to do that. Um, basically, I like to set up a style sheet uh, when I'm starting as an embedded style sheet or in the head section. Remember we started this um, at the beginning of the website. And this is the things that you don't actually see on the page. You don't want to see that it says uh, turn this page orange or turn this page red or turn this text yellow. Uh, so our style sheet is going to go up here and how you know, uh, how your website knows that there's a style sheet and that's where you put all that kind of information. Uh, you are going to start a tag that is style type equals oops, uh, text slash CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Um, and then I'm going to end that, all right? And then in between here, and I, whenever I start a style sheet, I like to end it right away because it's something I usually add to um, as I'm building the site. So uh, in between these two tags right here uh, are all, where's, is where all my styles are going to go, all my um, colors and aligning text and all that kind of thing. I mean, basically, the first thing that you want to do generally Change your background color. Uh, so I'm going to type in uh, body because that's what I want to change. I want to make the background color of everything inside this body tag. It starts right here, ends all the way down at the end of our page. I want to make that all one color. So I'm going to put in a selector uh, that is body. Uh, and how I like to set these up, you can set them up any way you want, but you need to put one of these curly brackets right here. Uh, and then I'm going to add all my stuff for body all of my properties for body inside of here. So the first thing I want to change in the body is the background color. Alright, I'm going to put in a colon and uh, I can just type in something like red, alright? Or you can go, uh, that, that'll work for basic colors, uh, like a red or a blue or a black or whatever. Uh, you can also go to a website like this, HTML Color Codes. If you just search for HTML Color Codes, you'll get a bunch of different ones. Or you could pick any letter that you want. Let's say I really like one of these. I really like that color. Uh, you copy these letters right here, and you put in a number sign. And that number, uh, and then that's good to go. And let's say that's the only thing I want to change about my body. So I'm going to hit Control S. And I'm going to come over here to my website and look at it. And that's going to change my background color to be blue. All right, so that's nice. Uh, next, if I wanted to do that for any other elements, uh, to change a color of any other elements, let's say, look right here, I have an H1. That's my heading. Let's say I want to change the color of that. I'm going to go to, oops, H1. I'm going to start a bracket right here. And I'm not going to change the background color this time. I'm just going to put in a color. Uh, and a colon, and let's say I want that to be red. If you just type it in, uh, you need to put a semicolon afterwards. And I'm going to end that bracket right there. Uh, and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go back to my website. Hit F5 to refresh the page, and it turned out just that one thing red. Now, there's a lot of different things that you can do in here, and as you can tell, I'm typing in a lot of different types of code into my style sheet. It's a lot to really grasp. So the best way for you to learn how to put different things into your page, uh, how to make your text float in the center, um, do that here. I could add in a text slash align uh, center and put in my semicolon and I could save that and come over here and that'll move my heading to the center. Uh, anytime you want to learn how to do any of these different things, uh, the best way for you to figure it out is to go to W3Schools, click on CSS, and there's a ton of different things. You want to learn how to make your links look different, or your text look different, or your background, any of that stuff. There's a ton of typing, there's a ton of things for you to figure out on here. So if the next things I wanted to do was links, I click on this links section, and I can click on this try it myself editor. And you'll see, if I add all this different stuff, uh, to my style sheet, it'll make it my links act like this. So I can do that. I could change these numbers right here. Click and edit, and I could see I didn't change the color very much because I just moved it a little bit. Um, but you can see how your how the changes you make will work, and it's totally good 
totally okay for you to just take something and copy it and put it into your own style sheet uh, right here and figure out how to make some changes this way um, and then you can just kind of tweak it and edit it as you go uh, and that's totally okay that's a good way to start learning so um, you can see I changed the color of this now too so uh, that's all different things that you're going to try and that's really the best way for you to learn CSS is to go onto this website um, there's tons of colleges and other schools that this is a great way to learn um, and use the resources that are out there find that stuff yourself